All right, guys, so today we're going to review the 2021 Road Glide Special in Vivid Black with the chrome finish. For 2021, Harley Davidson's offering 10 different color options for this bike some two tones, some solid colors. Five of those will have the chrome finish like this one. The other five will have the black finish. So if you want to see all those colors, head over to Harley Davidson's website and check those out. There's some pretty good options for this year. All right, guys, we've kind of made it a habit of starting our walk around with the tank badge. As you know, if you've watched any of the other videos, big deal to me. Uh, I think Harley knocked it out of the park with this one. I like the old bar and shield logo. Super simple, super clean, fits really well on this bike. It just kind of ties everything in together. So I do like that they did that. We'll talk about the console. So I really like the console redesign. And in the Street Glide video that I did, when I spoke about the console, I think I misspoke or I didn't put enough information in there. Uh, what I was meaning when I said that they went to the one gas cap, so is like referring to the soft tail bikes. So over here you'll see on the fat boy, you've got a gas cap on each side and realistically you don't. Only one of those is functional. That right side's functional. The left side is a dummy just to keep things symmetrical. So that's kind of what I was referring to when I was talking about the one gas cap. Before it was built into the console, it was right there in the center. So it was symmetrical. Uh, there was some confusion there, but just to clear that up. Anyway, Harley has done away with that center console gas cap. You now just have the one right one. Some people didn't like that because it, it's not symmetrical, but I mean, I don't see the point of, you know, putting the gas cap on there just for symmetry when it doesn't actually function. I'd rather just have the one, especially if you're going to go to a flush mount gas cap and the CVOs do come with those. It's a really nice touch. So if you do get this bike, I'd recommend going to that because it looks really, really good. Moving on to changes for 21 is the crash bar. Um, all the touring models got this new crash bar unless the bike is like a limited or road glide limited, something that comes with lower fairings on it. Those have the old style, but they're basically hidden anyway, so not a huge deal. I really do like this new design. I think it looks nice and neat. I've taken my old ones off in the past just because they were so big and bulky. I would probably leave this one on personally just to have that little bit of added protection if you were to drop your bike and it doesn't look bad. So one thing I noticed on the road glide with that was you'll see this extra bracket right here that wasn't on the 2020 models. Uh, that's just because they had braces coming off that would attach to the bigger crash bar. I'll show you one of those real quick. So this is what I was talking about as far as that different mounting bracket. Uh, with the older crash bar, this is a 2020 Road Glide Special. So you'll see with the older crash bar, the bigger one, they just had the little brackets that came down, whereas now you have the bar that goes across. Also, while we're back here looking at it, this is a bike that's for sale here at Tim's. Super custom paint job, uh, bars, slip-on exhaust. This is a really, really nice bike. So if you want me to do a review of it and show you a little bit more, just let me know down in the comments and I'll be happy to do it. So since they did away with that bigger crash bar and mounting design, they had to come up with something new. That was their fix. Uh, it doesn't look bad, doesn't stand out. Just wanted to point that out to you guys. So you will see you do get the stretched bags on the special models. Uh, most people really like the look of the stretched bag, so it's a good fit. The only time it's really going to be a hindrance or a negative is if you want to run a single sided exhaust, say a two into one or something, you will have that cutout on that left side that won't have a pipe. A lot of companies do offer like a, a fake pipe or a false pipe. It's not tied into anything. It just gives you the look so that things stay symmetrical which I know is a big deal to some guys. Moving back up to the front of the bike, I love these wheels that Harley did. I'm not big on spending money to change out the wheels, so I really like when they offer something that looks good. I think most people would agree. It's a really good looking, low profile wheel. Looks like it's fairly light considering that it's a, a stock wheel. And as most of you know by now, but for those that don't, Harley did go back to the cable clutch for all their touring bikes for 2021. I don't think they officially re released a statement saying why. 
they have gone back. I, my speculation would be a cost thing. Uh, on top of the few recalls that they've had with those hydraulic clutches, there was never any major issues, but recalls nonetheless. So I would imagine the factor of the cost and the recalls, it just made sense for them to go back to the cable clutch, which as I talked about in my cable clutch video, you do get a better, bigger friction zone, so there is a little bit of a positive there. Back behind the fairing, everything stayed pretty much the same, uh, but if you've never seen a road glide, you do get these little pockets here that hold a pretty good bit of stuff, actually. Um, you can definitely fit your phone. It has a USB plug in here, um, so you can hook your phone up to the radio with this or charge it. Now, in my experience, it doesn't charge these newer smartphones very fast. And as far as connecting it to the radio, you do have Bluetooth, which is the better option in my opinion. But I wanted to point that out to everyone. You also have the 12 volt plug in here, which is a nice feature. I don't know what you would plug in. Maybe if you had the handlebar mounted GPS or something, that would be nice. I've just never found anything that I needed to plug in. And I do like that they give you these blanks. So you can put in auxiliary switches and you've got a nice place for them to go. So if you wanna put some LED lights on your bike or anything you, you wanna add that needs power and a switch, you've got a nice place to do that. Inside the saddlebag, still the same thing. Nothing has changed in here. And then a lot of guys for some reason seem to think that you get a much bigger bag with the stretch bags. I know you won't be able to tell in the video, but it's literally just a tiny bit deeper in the corner and that's literally it. So not enough to worry about there. So on the specials, you do get the 114 cubic inch engine, which is very nice. Um, you can go all the way up to the 131 as long as you start with the 114. So that's pretty nice. Like I said in the beginning, this one is in the chrome finish. Um, five of Harley's color options is in the black finish. So pretty much everything you see on this motor that is chrome will be black on those other options. And you can see that on Harley's website. So really quickly, I thought I would point out, if you think you may wanna add one of these tour packs and or some lower fairings on your Road Glide, I would strongly consider the Road Glide Limited. So with that tour pack, if you don't like the look or you're not gonna have a passenger often, you can get a quick detach kit. So it's cheaper in the long run to buy the Road Glide Limited and do that detach kit than it would be to add the King Pack, the lighting, the extra speakers, the luggage rack, the lowers, and then on the Limited, you're gonna get the heated grips as well. So just a few things to keep in mind. If you think you may wanna add these things to your Road Glide Special, I would look at the Limited. If those aren't of interest to you, then definitely just go with the Special and save some money. One thing I forgot to mention is if you go with the Road Glide Limited over the Road Glide Special, you would be giving up your stretched bags, which may or may not be a big deal to you. And then you've got different wheels. I don't think these wheels are bad by any means, but I do prefer the wheels on the Road Glide Special a little bit more. It's the same wheel that's on the Street Glide Special here. So, I mean, not a huge difference in these, but I do like the ones on the Special a little bit more. So guys, overall, I am definitely a fan of the Road Glide Special, especially in this black. It's really hard to beat a black bike. I'd say that's probably Harley's most popular color. And as the old saying goes, you can have any color you want as long as it's black. But I really like the black. It's simple, it's clean, it's classy. Just an overall good looking bike. All right guys, let's get this test ride started. Also, I've tried to move my chest mount up a little bit higher. <laughs> the saga continues with the uh, back and forth. I've had a lot of people chime back in and say that they like this view, but it seemed like the majority of people didn't. So here's the conclusion I've come to. For fairing mounted bikes, I'll run a uh, helmet mount for my GoPro. And for non fairing bikes, I will use this chest mount. Um, and then I'm also getting a second GoPro to do a second angle but I didn't want to do the helmet mount today because I'm having this helmet that I normally wear. It's a Simpson M30, for those that are wondering. I'm having it painted maybe this week, 
so I didn't want to waste a GoPro mount and make more work for the painter having to clean off that residue when uh, when we're just gonna pull it all back off anyway. So the pros and cons of being at this red light first is, you know, there's no cars in front of us, but this red light doesn't change for motorcycles, so we have to wait for another car to pull up behind us or pull up beside us, but that's fine. It's been a while since I've been on a road glide. I like them, you know, like some of you know, I had the 2015 street glide and really <laughs> that street glide road glide battle is silly to me. You know, you're going to have guys tell you that, oh, it cuts the wind better, it rides the highway better, and to be completely honest, I've put a ton of miles on both bikes, and I think they're basically the exact same, and it literally comes down to look. So I'd also had customers, you know, come in and try to argue the point that with the Rogue Glide, you don't have the weight on the front end because it's mounted to the frame, so it turns easier. I mean, honestly, the Street Glide turns so easy so does this one I don't there is no turning easier you know, they ride the same uh, the average person even a, a true like super motorcycle enthusiast is never going to notice the difference and if you say you are you're silly uh, I will say though man I think that street glide fairing I guess because it's the bat wing you know it's designed a little different to me it keeps more wind off of you so that argument, the road glide cuts through the wind better. Um, maybe, maybe true, maybe not, but the street glide keeps more wind off of you. Now I know you could put the bigger windscreen, windshield on this bike, but that looks terrible. <laughs> I really like this low profile, kind of lay flat design on the road glide, so. And I would run a bigger one, you know, if, if this was my personal bike and it were winter or whatever. I mean, looks aside, just trying to stay warm, man. I'm more of a, not a fair weather rider. It's like 40 today, and that's pretty cold for me. Normally 45 and above is where I ride, but it's just like anything under 45 is noticeably colder. And I don't wear like... I don't go full out. Like you can probably see from this GoPro view, you know, the gloves I wear are basically a motocross style glove. Uh, I wear a first manufacturing vest with a hoodie underneath, just a t-shirt. So I get, you know, I'm not dressing the part. I do wear a full face helmet, obviously long pants. And I don't even wear boots all the time, man. I wear shoes and a lot of old school guys would give me grief about that. You know, I'd ride in Chuck Taylors and they'd like, oh, if you wreck, you're going to lose your toes. I'm like, Bro, you're not wearing a helmet. <laughs> so I really don't want to hear about my choice of shoes. However, I will say, here in the South, uh, so I'm in South Carolina, here in the South, you will see guys like roll up to bike night with some cargo shorts and flip flops or like those boat style shoes. Now that is pushing it for me, but also as far as our helmet laws here, for those wondering, as long as you're 21 or older, you do not have to wear a helmet. Um, which I like that rule. I like that you don't have to do it, but I definitely think you should. I always wear a full face, even when it's hot. Uh, it feels super weird for me to ride without it. Um, even just like going across the parking lot at the dealership or something kind of feels weird. But anyway, getting back to the bike, I mean, obviously brand new. 2021 Road Glide, super smooth, obviously quiet, but the factory exhaust makes good power. I guess you could hear, see, we got on it a little bit earlier. And I do like the black, you know, Harley has come out with some fantastic this, colors this year, but it's hard for me to go away from the black. Um, gray, like the dark gray is also good. I don't hate the silver and I like some white. Uh, so there's a lot of paint colors I can appreciate, but I, I just kind of like those colors. 
I'll try to get on it for you guys a little bit. Yeah, I mean, it's a Milwaukee 8114. That's what I expected. Makes good power. And again, as a reminder, we're not like hammering this thing out. It's a brand new bike. Um, you should never do that with a brand new bike. Someone else is gonna buy this bike. Uh, it's not my bike. The dealership owns this bike. So for a lot of reasons on this channel, when we do the test rides, we're not hard on these things. You know, we. We get it up to speed, but that's about as, as far as we're going to take it. The stock bar position for me, not my favorite, but I could do it. You know what I mean? Like it's, it would work, you know, if it was a loner bike or, or whatever. We've had some road glides come in recently with the um, the T bars, and I've seen it done a multitude of ways. One way, the bar kind of it looks like these handlebars, but then it goes up and comes into one. And in my opinion, that looks awful. The idea there is you don't have to mess with your gauges or deal with any of that stuff, which I get, but it looks so bad to me. Uh, the other option is. There's companies that make like the gauge relocation so you end up moving the gauges to the top of the T-bars and a lot of people aren't going to like that but anyone that's into like the performance bagger world that's just kind of become standard now to to see a road glide like that so really doesn't phase me and phase a lot of the other guys either. Some of the techs in the back though at, at Tim's, well I say some one of the techs absolutely hates it and despises it like every time one comes in he's uh he's ragging on it pretty hard so it's pretty funny to listen to him and all the younger guys sit around and laugh and he's not that old he's just you know how people are they're set in their ways i mean i honestly was never a fan of the big wheel giant stretch bag stretch tank stretch fenders look but you know wasn't my money so I kind of let those guys do what they want to do and said just remember that's a, a fad so you know build one enjoy it ride it whatever but sell it before the fad goes away much like the uh, chopper error did you know I guess 15 years ago roughly now but anyways I digress all right guys, getting back to the dealership so you know what time it is. Actually, if you're still watching this video, even if you skip through and this is where you landed, um, I appreciate you watching the videos. Uh, the channel's doing great. I'm super happy with the growth we've experienced so far, all the views, uh, all the likes and comments. So thank you guys for that. Uh, if you would, please subscribe to the channel. And if you could give me a like, I hate being that guy. Trust me, I hate doing this part right now and having to ask you guys this but it does really help what we're trying to do here like I've said in other videos once we get through all these 2021 reviews I do have some cool stuff planned that I want to try out all, all Harley related stuff so don't worry we're not changing up the channel but kind of having some momentum going into those projects would be pretty cool so if you could do all the normal YouTube stuff not pulling in the dealership just yet. I have to take photos of this bike for Tim's website. Um, but again, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.